worst week since March. Our next guest believes the bear case for stocks is still building and has been since the end of last year when he first went back to his negative view. Joining me once again, Post 9, Karen Fitzgerald's head of equity derivatives and cross asset strategy is Eric Johnson. Welcome back. Scott, thanks for having me. Same, same guy, same view. You haven't changed your negative view? Same guy, same view. Uh, circumstances are certainly ever changing every day. And, uh, but our overall view remains, uh, remains very similar. And what do you mean they're changing? How, how are circumstances changing, but your view is remaining the same? Sure. So um, there's clearly a lot of speculative forces that are in the market. The market's got a lot of momentum. And I think if I was just looking at price, and I didn't know anything about fundamentals, I would tell you that stocks look attractive. But there are fundamentals. And ultimately, I think owning stocks and playing that momentum, the speculation is playing with fire because the fundamental backdrop um, is extraordinarily poor. Valuations right now are at excessive levels relative to rates and on their own. Um, the economic risk, the economic risk is one-sided, meaning there's not some idea where the economy is going to take off from here. The question is, is it going to hang on to this low growth or are we ultimately or when are we ultimately going to go into recession? Let me stop you there real sure. quick and I'll let you continue. You could make that same case more than 12 months ago yep. that the economic risks were one-sided then. Yes. I can easily look now over the period of, of time and say, I actually think the economic risks are better today than they were a year ago. Yeah, I would disagree with that. So um, excess savings, they go down every day. They're still there. They go down every day. They're a lot lower today than they were nine months ago. Student loan mor moratorium has been in place the entire time. That's coming to an end in the September, October time frame. Credit card balances. Credit card rates continue to go up every day. Right? Every day the consumer is paying more. It's up 500 percentage points over the last year on over a trillion dollars. It's not like delinquencies That's, are exploding, though. No, but the cost to the consumer is rising and is going to crowd out, and we're already seeing some of this, crowd out other spending. But why, does pe why do people like the, the Delta CEO, Ed Baston, why do, why, people buy, buy airline tickets on their credit cards, presumably. Yes. Why does he keep talking about unwavering demand if the, so, if the situation is getting so bad? At the moment, there is unwavering demand for service. There, certainly most parts of service, whether it be crews, airlines, et cetera. But that's only one part of the consumer dynamic. There's restaurants, and of course, there's, of course, the go big goods market, which is faltering. The Johnson Red Book number came out today. It was a weekly number. It's real time. Minus 0.4 percent, the lowest since 2020. And that's with inflation at 4 or 5 percent, which means that the unit sales are dropping very sharply, very sharply. And so it is a, it is a backdrop where not only do you have that going on, but you're also uh, fighting this overall inflation dynamic, right? Which from a big picture perspective means the Fed is still going to be lingering out there as long as we are at these asset prices and an economy that has not rolled over yet. That's going to be a sort of a dampening effect on the overall level of, of the market. Not if inflation continues to come down.